Oh, hello, lovely, and welcome into our tea party. <laughs> I'm Maria. <laughs> and my name is Rory, and we're here to help prepare you for IELTS speaking. And have a little bit of tea along the way. In this video, we're going to give you model answers and vocabulary about, well, tea or coffee. Let's talk about tea or coffee. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Oh God, coffee. Coffee for days. I love the, the rush and the focus that you get from the caffeine, uh, especially with black coffee in the morning. So, coffee or tea? Coffee or tea is a beverage, dear listener. Coffee is my favorite beverage or my favorite drink. What's the difference between a drink and a beverage? A beverage is a more formal word, but you can use this beverage. Oh yeah, that's my favorite beverage. That's my favorite drink. So, yeah. But usually people say just I prefer tea, I prefer coffee, or this is my favorite drink. Like champagne is my favorite drink, water with ice is my favorite drink, and I prefer latte. Do you say latte? Latte? I say latte when I need a latte, which is almost never. What kind of latte do you have? So latte is like coffee and milk. Okay. Hold on a minute. So is cappuccino. So what's the difference? The difference is that in latte, te, yes, latte, latte, we have more milk. Okay. I think. Yeah. So kind of like a latte is more creamy and um, we have less coffee in latte and more milk. But I sometimes I do cappuccinos. Yeah. And I also like a chai latte, which I think is a kind of tea that comes from India. I could be wrong. But there's also matcha, which is a replacement for uh, caffeine um, or caffeinated drinks. At least, again, I think so. I'm not a coffee expert. I know all these words and I use them at the uh, coffee shop. <laughs> but I don't know what they mean. They just, it all just tastes great. Caffeine, dear listener. Okay, I need caffeine in my life, in my uh, everywhere. So we pronounce it as caffeine. And I love the rush and focus you get from caffeine. So all this rush, like... <laughs> and focus. Rush like when you are in a rush, when you are in a hurry. But coffee gives you this, you know, like energy. So rush is like a surge of energy then, isn't it? Or it can be as well as being in a hurry. Rory, but I thought tea is in your blood. What about all this tea culture in Great Britain? What about all this tea culture in Great Britain? Where are all the tea rooms? I only ever go to coffee shops, so I think coffee is definitely, or it seems to have taken over. Um, I don't know if that's a fact or not. Yes, dear listener, I've done some research on the internet, okay? And one of the articles said that more coffee is sold than tea in the UK. Can you imagine that? So tea is becoming outdated. They say outdated is like, like old fashioned. So even for English people. Those poor English people. And it's true, we drink coffee as much as water these days. How often do you drink coffee or tea? Well, every day, especially in the morning. I have it with my protein shake. And then um, when, oh, whenever I'm out with my friends or my family and we're shopping in the town, it's nice to stop by a coffee shop, uh, like, um, like Starbucks, for example. Starbucks, pay me money. So, dear listener, if you enjoy coffee, you can say, I can't imagine my life without coffee or without tea. Or, for example, I stick with tea. Like, I stick with coffee. Like, I prefer coffee or tea. Like, oh, I enjoy a nice cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. What do you drink tea from? A cup. Nice. What's your cup made of? Porcelain cup. Handmade. Handmade. Oh, nice. I also have a handmade porcelain tea cup. It says here that life is beautiful. Mine does not say anything. Mine was a gift from Russia, no less, from one of good friends, Svetlana. Thank you. It comes with a cup and a saucer. They are both made from porcelain, which is a kind of smooth material. And I also have this small cup here. Very delicate, very fragile. This is a cup. You'll see it's very small, but it's made from a kind of ceramic called bone china, which is like bone dust ground up and refined to create this. I don't know if you can see it, but you can almost see through the whole thing. It's very delicate. I don't recommend 
giving this to the people at Starbucks to get your order. So, dear listener, if you prefer tea, you can say, for example, I enjoy herbal teas with herbs with different like plants for the evening, or ginger tea, ginger, you know, this um, spicy fruit, ginger tea when I'm ill, or English breakfast tea is really common. We have this uh, Earl Grey, Earl Grey tea, cinnamon tea, also in summer we prefer iced tea or jasmine green tea. Jasmine with this, you know, what's jasmine? Isn't jasmine, well, it's a spice from India, but is jasmine not extremely expensive or am I thinking of saffron? Saffron is expensive, yeah. Saffron is this uh, orange thingy. Also, you can say I prefer flavored tea. So Earl Grey is a type of flavored tea. Like we have cherry tea, uh, with tea with uh, fruits, spices, berries. Uh, you can say that, oh, sometimes I drink Chinese tea, like, for example, oolong, oolong tea, red tea, white tea, so Chinese tea. In terms of coffee, you can say espresso, I prefer latte, right, black coffee, americano, how do you say americano? Americano. Americano. Well, I said black coffee in my answer, and I also talked about coffee-flavored products and tea-flavored products. So even if you are not totally into your tea or your coffee, you still have some general vocabulary to talk about. Well, the subject. You can also say cappuccino, yeah, cappuccino, or flat white, for example. Mm, Or for example, frappe. Frappe is frappe. Frappe. Frappe is frappe. Very concise. What is frappe? It's like iced iced coffee, yeah? I iced coffee, iced coffee, yeah. And uh, you know my favorite one is affogato. What's that? I know, how do you pronounce it? Affogato? Have you ever heard this? Affogato? I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. I've never had it. So they put a scoop of ice cream and then they pour hot espresso. Uh, and this you know this taste with like ice cream and hot coffee. Amazing. I forgot to dear listener. Okay. Beautiful. It's like more of a dessert than a beverage, than a drink. Oh, it's like coffee and ice cream. So a nice dessert. You can say that you drink coffee every morning or every day. I have it with my protein shake. So you have coffee and protein shake together? Yeah, I mix it together because it's efficient that way. Some people have it separately, though. I've seen this. So I get to wake up and I get to fuel up. You know, coffee fuels me up, gives me energy, right? I'm fueled up right now because this is my this is my second coffee of the day. I'm going to be a lot of fun to be around later. You can say it's nice to stop by a coffee shop or to stop at a coffee shop to have a coffee, your favorite latte with coconut milk. You can say, I drink coffee regularly, or if you don't, you can say, oh, I wish I could drink coffee, but my stomach can't handle too much coffee. So my stomach is not, coffee is not good for my stomach. Coffee also is not good for your anxiety either. <laughs> if you, So be careful when you drink it, or any kind of caffeine, to be honest. Or you can say, I drink coffee regularly, or I drink tea regularly. And also, I like this one. I'm living on a steady caffeine flow. So flow is like you're like, like flow, flow of coffee. So I'm living on coffee. I'm living on caffeine. Do most people prefer tea or coffee today? Oh, at a guess, uh, I'd say coffee. It seems to have proliferated much further and wider than tea. I mean... You, you see more coffee shops than, than tea rooms, for example. So that's probably a good indication, isn't it? And there are more coffee-flavored products as opposed to tea-flavored products. Uh, at least it seems that way. I could be wrong. People today prefer coffee or tea. Well, you can say at a guess. Well, if I were to guess, at a guess. Like, I'm guessing, maybe, right? I, I'm taking a wild guess. At a guess, I'd say coffee or I'd say tea. And actually, if you read about coffee or tea online, you'll see that coffee is the winner. But if you're not an expert like me, then you could probably just guess because there's lots and lots of coffee shops, but not many tea rooms. Coffee shops, tea rooms. And you also said coffee seems to have proliferated. Or coffee has 
pro- proliferated. Pro- pro- proliferated. Yes, but that's just meaning. Sorry, but pro- to proliferate just means that something has increased its numbers dramatically, uh, far and wide. So usually we talk about nuclear proliferation, but I think the proliferation of coffee shops is much more positive to talk about. Yeah, and that's true. We do have some tea rooms, especially Chinese tea rooms, where you can taste different Chinese teas, but far more coffee shops. And Rory made a contrast, like coffee-flavored products, like coffee products, different types of coffee, as opposed to tea-based products as opposed to, yeah, like coffee shops, as opposed to tea rooms, tea rooms. Let's go to a tea room. Of course, it's important to finish off my answer by saying, at least it seems that way, I could be wrong, because I have no idea about these things. And if you have no idea, you can tell the examiner. It seems that way, I could be wrong. You could use that for a lot of answers, actually, or uh, answers on different topics at the very least. Are coffee and tea popular in your country? You would imagine so, since it seems like there's a coffee shop on every street corner, to be honest with you. And apart from two of the houses I've been in have had supplies of it in every cupboard or or even a jar on the um, on the kitchen counters. There is a coffee shop on every street corner. So coffee is, of course, really popular. I didn't get it. You said like you've been to different bars and they have tea, like a bar, like a pub. No, no. It means uh, this word bar is like another way of saying but for um, and then whatever you're excluding from your answer. So if I say uh, every house bar two or barring two, it just means every house I've been to except for two specific ones has these jars or these cupboards where they keep coffee and tea. Oh, wow. Could you give us another example with this bar? I like all books bar those which are made from recycled paper because they smell bad. I don't. So it means I don't like the ones made of recycled paper. Isn't it formal? Yes, but also it was a nice thing to say. Add variety. So, for example, everyone is leaving the village bar the very old and ill. So everyone is leaving, but the old people stay. Ooh la la, dear listener. Oh my god, what a controversial example sentence. What, why, the, why the old and the infirm? What are you doing with them? I know, it's Cambridge on my dictionary, okay? It's your people. Cambridge people, Rory. Uh, not my people, they're English. Those poor English people. Scotland freedom! Yes, yeah, Scottish people would never say this. Cheers. Yeah, let's finish off with, um, what do we say, this like fresh coffee beans. Yeah, it's like beans, the thing is. Yes, but I'm drinking instant coffee, so I should just be quiet. Instant coffee, really? Oh, wow, Ooh. Instant coffee, dear listener, you psh, psh, and Bob's your uncle, coffee is ready. So instant coffee, but if I have the beans, this little coffee beans, what do I do with them? I, um, I grind them and I make coffee from coffee beans? Um, You can get coffee making machines that are quite professional these days. Two of my friends have them. They're amazing. So they use coffee beans to make coffee, yeah? I think so. I don't know the fine points of it or the fine details, but yes, I think you just put the beans in, do something, and then coffee appears magically. It's magic. That's what it is. It's magic. And then we make tea, yeah? You can have a tea bag, like a tea bag, bag of tea. And you make tea, and then you make coffee. Interestingly, you get a teaspoon, but you don't get a coffee spoon. Because um, you have with coffee. Wait a second, wait a second, dear listener, stay with me. You know, I said that as a very idle question, like not expecting a serious answer, but now I'm going to get one. Yeah, this, this, you have this, you see? What the hell's that? Oh, sorry, what the heck is that? What what, what do you call this? It's the, the, it's the wooden thing. A stirring stick. Yes, yes, it's a, dear listener, take a look, it's a stirring stick, and uh, sometimes um, they make it uh, out of wood, sometimes out of other material, so we just, mm, so we have a stirrer. Thank you for listening, tell us, are you a coffee person, are you a tea person, write in the comments, what kind of coffee do you prefer? We also have our premium episodes for you, the links are in the description. Do check them out, okay? Speak you two and three. Fresh topics. Fresh topics and fresh coffee. Bye. Bye.